The so-called Teflon Thailand economy has withstood years of political unrest. But could this be the last straw on the camel's back? After two months of sporadic demonstrations, protesters will go all out to shut down the capital, Bangkok, on Monday. Their goal? To derail elections in February that are expected to return Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawatra's government to power. The instability is already taking a toll on the country's vast tourism industry, and investors are bracing for more economic fallout, with recent data showing consumer confidence has dropped to a near two-year low. Also on Monday, Southeast Asia will see its first listing of 2014. Top Frontier, the controlling shareholder of conglomerate San Miguel, will begin trading on the Philippine Stock Exchange. That will kick off a spree of listings coming up in the region with Malaysia's IOI properties making its market debut later in the week. India will also be in the spotlight with major companies reporting third quarter earnings. On Thursday, investors will closely watch a report card from India's top outsourcing exporter, Tata Consultancy Services. That will be followed by results from India's third largest lender by assets, HDFC, which over half of the analysts tracked by Reuters recommend.